um, on one bulb, 12 volt, uh, there's a resistor already put in there, so it's already re pre wired. You can see here, what I did was I took an old yard lamp, took the housing from that, taped it on to a. Um, inside there's actually oh, the old wiring, actually extra wiring from a power supply for my computer. The bulbs, prongs just happen to fit perfectly inside there. I'll show you a, a shot of that. And then once I wired that on there, right now this one it's not finished. I just temporarily have it clipped on to the battery, um, positive and negative, to light it up. But this one is complete. Um, you actually may be able to see right there. There's that. Um, we'll use the light from one for the other. Well, uh, you'll see there that's being held on by a rubber band. These are all parts from an old outdoor um, LED solar unit that was broken and was really garbage but I reused it you can see there is the wire for um, or from the computer backup I snipped all the ones I didn't need to use those wiring for other things just have two running up here I even used the housing and that one's fully wired to be a clamp so you use it in a car or um, anywhere where um, 12 volts on a battery are, are accessible. They're, they're actually very bright. They fill the whole room really nicely, especially with two here. It does the trick. Uh, I might do some lighting demos. I also took an old um, battery operated camping light and the batteries had corroded over and it's pretty funky so I threw the bottom away, cut the bottom out and wired on a some wiring to have it a, as a either in car or anywhere where there's a cigarette lighter you can plug it right in now and um, it's running one of these bulbs I left it on all night and it didn't change my battery voltage at all um, right now my battery voltage is low just because I've been doing stuff all day but um, I think it's at 12.6 volts right now it's also been really cloudy so I haven't had an additional charge so I'm gonna have to look, turn this guy off soon but you can see it's not running off this inverter um, these lights are directly powered DC 12 volt off the battery backup um, and fairly easy to turn off if I needed to and then I, I just clamp that on for safety and you can see these things are uh, very bright and I'll have like I said I'll leave I'll link all the information and descriptions in uh, the video notes below this is just an update I haven't done anything on my solar for a while I've been experimenting with a lot of stuff uh, you should be getting more from me soon um, other than that um, funding I can't really expand so right now I'm going more recycled route these lamps um, you could wire them up to daisy chain them if you wanted to 12 volts right off of it it's no waste of electricity for the conversion two dollars LED bulbs bright and already used I mean wiring up like Christmas lights maybe even um, build enough of these housings now, this isn't weather tolerant because there's a gap in here and I'd have to seal it but it is useful in a power outage scenario like I said it ran all night long uh, it lit up a whole room um, for I mean if I made five of these I could light up my every room in my house all night long and not have to worry about any any sort of um, uncomfortable feeling from anyone I apply the the camping light I made has a switch on it so it's easy for anyone to use if they just want light flip on flip off they don't even have to worry about it um, these ones I can make plug right in you can have it in a car if you had to bug out in your car or something you can just plug it right in have light in your car no heat to these. These are like really very, very, very low heat. Um, I, I you can say none, but there is a little bit of heat, but nothing that could even burn you or hurt you in any way. Definitely no fire hazard, other than that you're playing with a live 12 volt system. But um, inexpensive, reliable, useful, um, wonderful additions. Um, I've seen people say, well, why don't you just use your solar yard lamps, and that's great. This is just a way you use them when they're busted and they don't work anymore. You know, you can take them apart, 
add this simple one or two dollar addition and make it a very useful.